Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a little bit, a couple weeks actually, with uh, all that's been going on. Uh, it's been a little difficult to get in here and do another video. So here we are, and today's project is going to be a knife mod. Kind of gotten into it, I've been watching a bunch of videos on it, um, acid etching, etc. And it just so happens that while helping out someone in the family do some yard work, I found this guy in the dirt. It's nothing special. It's a Ozark Trail, which is a Walmart brand. Um, so it's obviously the knife, not the highest quality, but I figured it's a good piece to start with. That way if I wreck it, I'm not wrecking a Benchmade. You know what I mean? It's still pretty, still pretty dirty. It takes a lot to, to actually open. It's supposed to be assisted, but it's, it, it's not. It's pretty gunked up. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to I'm going to break it down uh, to all its pieces. I'm going to bend its little belt clip back into shape, and I think I'm going to blue the whole thing. I'm going to try that out, see how that works, and I'm also going to do a, a casting or a mold, and then casting of the scales. Uh, they're a little thin, and I do I do kind of like the shape. But I didn't. I don't really have the tooling to do the countersinking to reuse these screws to do my own custom scales. I was considering doing oak because the bluing is going to darken up all the metal. So I was thinking about doing like oak to do a, a contrast. But instead, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mold it and do probably like a pearl white resin cast and reassemble it. So. Let's get started. all apart and I'm gonna clean up all this crap with some acetone and as you can see here I'll put it down in this in this one here it was sitting out in the elements for quite some time so it's it's got some gunk and a little bit of surface rust going on it is a little worse for the wear and I mean you look at the blade it has definitely looked like it was taken. It was taken to a, a block of wood. Of course, it's probably not the best metal. It is a, like I said, it's a Walmart brand knife, but it is a little worse for wear. So. all cleaned up, uh, acetoned and sanded down. I sanded it down with 400 grit um, just to kind of take off a little bit of that surface rust or all of that surface rust. Um, next thing I want to do at this point is set up the mold box for my grips, for my scales. Um, I'll do that with this Bezos box, alternatively known as Amazon box. <laughs>
So that's pre-mold. So to make the mold, uh, we are using Smooth On Mold Star 20T. And it is a quicker drying compound. I don't remember exactly the stats. set up here pretty quickly some plastic out I think we'll go ahead and start doing the bluing on this metal got all my stuffs ready okay so it says on the directions for the bluing to use a sponge or I'm gonna use one of these little applicators here one of these one of these guys and hopefully it doesn't create too much of a streaking effect. All right, well, I'm not getting any results with that. So let's, let's get a little container, pour some fluid, put some fluid in it, and we'll uh, let it set up for a little while. All right, let's try that again. Pretty much the whole bottle. I'm gonna let this set up. Um, you know, you read the directions and it sounds like it's gonna be a little more of an instantaneous effect, or at least the beginnings of, you know, that you can kind of see a little bit of a, of a reaction happening, but I haven't seen that. Maybe the metal's not correct, you know, with the, the stainless, maybe it's just, it's kind of a, a cheap, Stainless air. Let's check this. Yeah, good and it's good and set. So let's break this guy apart and see see how it came out. See if I screwed up doing the old tape thing. <laughs> Live and learn. Live and learn. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Here, can you see that? Very nice. Very nice. I'm not seeing any bubbles. Got the recessions in there like I want for the counter sinking. Yeah. All in all, I mean, those things, this, this came out, this came out nice. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start setting up the resin so we can pour our scales and hopefully that'll be nice.
cars. And if this blues up like it's supposed to, it'll be nice and dark. So this should add a nice, nice touch of contrast, which is what I want. It's pretty cool. Trying to check for bubbles. It's super easy to introduce a lot of bubbles in this when you're mixing it. So the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to just go to town all crazy because then you're going to have a pile of bubbles. And it. Bubbles are bad, okay? So you want to try and keep that from happening. So it has all been degassed, degassed, however the hell you say it. Let's, uh, I don't really see a lot of bubbles there, so I think, I think it did good. So let's go ahead and pour these guys and, uh, <laughs> hope for the best. All right. That looks, <laughs> those look, those look. Those look nice. All right, those those do. Those look really good. Um, got a very pearl look about them. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get these out of the mold. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow. These are, uh, it's a 45 minute working time on this resin. Uh, that gets decreased a little bit when, when you degas it. Uh, and then another 24 hour full cure time. These are, thin casting so may not be a full 24 hours but it, it'll be at minimum uh till tomorrow morning before i mess with this so i'm gonna just let them sit set up next day uh looks like my resin's cured pretty good time to demold and see what uh see what we got looks pretty good i like the flow of it detail pretty well nice coloring and I don't see any bubbles yeah yeah those that's a good casting those are nice I'll have to sand down the bottom a little bit get a little flatter all right so good news bad news um, good news is the scales look really good it was good clean uh, casting no bubbles I uh, I think they'll work out nicely. Uh, bad news. Bad news is uh, I'm a big old dummy. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because normally when I don't know something, um, I'm good with that. You know, and nobody knows everything. I know there's a few people out there that think that they know everything, but we don't. And it's easy, you just figure it out. The reason why I say I'm a dummy on this is because there's certain things about this project that I already knew and failed to put two and two together. I, it, I should have known. Case in point. I decided that I wanted a dark tint on the metal for this knife. That would be a nice contrast to the white scales. Look good. Stainless steel is stainless because of the chromium additive, the chromium blend that's in it. I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. The more chromium, the more resistant it is to staining and rust. Rust. Bluing is rust. <laughs> that's, that's what bluing is. Anytime you have a, a firearm that's blued, it's essentially a, a layer of intentional rust that protects the metal from corrosion and further rusting. Uh, you can't blue stainless steel. You can't rust stainless steel. So this was a colossal waste of time. And it's something that I really actually should have known better because I, I, underst I understood what bluing was and I understand the stainless, but I got ahead of myself in trying to... Um, get this done and failed to recognize 
all of the all of the information above. So a little more research, uh, I come up with another idea to try, and it's it's a, kind of a coffee dip, which makes Helen very happy because she's an addict. Uh, and I tested out a piece yesterday, and it seems to seems to have worked out pretty good. Uh, darken it up; it's got some oil slick, slick or case hardening style coloring on it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that to the rest of the pieces. Get it kind of dark and gritty and distressed looking, and start moving forward. Cool. Frustrating, but it was pretty fun. Uh, in the end, I'm pretty happy with it. It'll uh, it'll live next to my 3D printer from here on out. Uh, cut filament from time to time. Not much use, but uh, learned a few things. Um, what not to do, and what seems to not work. And maybe it's the alloy. You know, it's not stamped with what the alloy is. So I mean, I can't I can't relay that, but. Uh, cheap knives maybe it's not so cheap I, sometimes you can never tell uh, but in the end I had a good time and I'm pretty happy with it I think it looks pretty cool uh, looking forward to doing another one down the road a uh, little bit down the road we got some other um, projects up in, in line so we'll get on those here directly um, thank you for watching uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me so do me a favor Hit that like and that subscribe button. Keep coming back. Um, nothing else to make fun of me. It's, it's not hard to do. So, till next time, later. Let's uh, start setting up the resin for the handle. For the